I went solo camping this past October and I'm finally getting around to posting some of the footage from it. So this is the campsite I stayed in. I got, uh, I found it off of Hip Camp. I definitely recommend. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, but it was on private land and uh, there was a host nearby and she was fantastic. I decided to time myself, see how fast it would take me to set up my tent. It took a little under eight minutes. is isn't too bad. I obviously sped it up quite a bit because who wants to watch me for eight minutes putting a tent together? So let's just condense it a little bit and a little more fun. I feel like the hardest part of putting a tent up by yourself is having to deal with these dang holes all the time. <laughs> it's much easier when you have a second pair of hands, but eh, still got it done. After I finished this up, I staked it down, and then I was done. This is the little outhouse that they made. It was pretty great, and it was really secluded. No one else was around. That's a view from the outhouse. Was I peeing? You'll never know. When the clouds came in, it started to get pretty cold. So the next task was to get a good fire going. The host left a ton of firewood for me. Well, actually, the group of guys at a campsite a little ways down took my firewood the night before, apparently. So the host was really cool and just brought a bunch more over uh, like more than I could have ever needed. And I just hung out for a little bit and warmed up, got my Kindle out, read a good book, let the fire get going pretty good before I move on to other things. The host was nice enough to leave me a bottle of wine and a mason jar, and she even left some eggs for me in the morning to cook with, which was so nice. So I popped a little bottle and enjoyed it by the fire. Well, look at that idiot. <laughs> and maybe I've gone through like half a bottle of wine at that point. That's on me, that's on me. And after goofing around a bit, it was time to cook up some dinner. I kept things pretty simple, just hot dog and uh, some bread that I toasted, some gluten-free bread, and I brought like apples with me, and then I brought some peanut butter that I could also put on the bread as well for lunch and stuff like that. I 
I used these kebab skewers. They worked pretty well. And then a tinfoil pizza liner thing that I could put the bread on and be able to toast the bread and everything. Get things pretty bare bones. One is just one person, you don't really need a lot. Decide to slow it down here because I'm an idiot. Because, you know, such and hot things shouldn't have done it. After dinner, I watched the sunset and then grabbed my Kindle again and laid by the fire and read for a few hours. I was reading this book called Cackle by Rachel Harrison and it was kind of spooky and witchy and a really great book to finish solo camping in October. <laughs> I was so happy by the ending. I may have, like, you know, got up and danced around the fire and howled at the moon. Just a typical what women do in the moonlight. I find watching and listening to a fire is so soothing and calming. I'm tempted to leave all the footage I have of the fire on this video, but it might be a little long. I'll leave a little bit more though. But yeah, I waited for the fire to go down and went to bed. Oh yeah, you know, the classic shot of me totally waking up and looking out into the distance and not at all being super sleepy and having to get up, set up the camera, turn it on, go back into the tent, zip it up, just unzip it all over again. I don't know. I don't know why we do this. Why, why do we show this? It, it's weird. It was very cold and very windy that morning. I get, It definitely got down in the 30s. So, yeah, me half asleep, just needing to put the fire together as soon as possible. I was so cold. But it didn't take too long to put it all together. And once I get going, it was nice and... Cooked myself a little breakfast afterwards. Waited for the sun to come up a bit more. Get a little bit warmer. We're just gonna skip ahead to when the fire started getting going pretty good. And you know, cold mornings takes a little longer sometimes. I had a nice sleepy morning and uh, yesterday the property owner suggested I go on this hike through a canyon that's like 
right here and there should be a road or a trail that leads up so it's a little chilly still I'm gonna try and get a hike in and get my heart rate going and here's my campsite so yeah go on a morning hike well, you were not supposed to be out here. I guess I'm putting it in my bag, packing it out. Ah. Like, middle of nowhere. There's a freaking balloon. Ugh. Okay, I have found the trail. I came from the way over there and it's 0.86 miles. Not too bad. Alright, let's go on the trail. Well, I hiked about a half mile up the trail. Uh, there's a split, so maybe I'll go back and to the split and try there because I heard a gunshot um so someone must be hunting up here or something right now and you know I don't really have on any sort of orange indicator uh that I am a person and not an animal so you know that's what happens when you're out in the wilderness sometimes uh, <laughs> People just some are on their own property just shooting and totally normal and yeah, I think I'm gonna head on back and see where see where I go next. I don't know. I will say, like, the hike itself is really gorgeous. Like ten out of ten. Definitely worth the trek. Oh yeah, and apparently there's a mountain lion up in here, but, you know, they're really shy and most likely not going to bother people. Uh, but I picked up a rock because, I don't know, some form of making me feel better about the situation, about being on my own, but I haven't seen anything. I mean, I've seen, like, what look like probably, like lion mountain lion poop but nothing looks fresh so i think we're good oh it's getting sunny gorgeous 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 climbed up a little ways for a nice view i think that my campsite is over that way somewhere. And uh, that's where the trail split. I took the left one, which goes on this side of the canyon. Looks like the right one goes around that way. Wow. Well, I'm back in no man's land again. This is deceptively much further than you think. The campsite is somewhere around there. Probably still have another three quarters of a mile. Dang, it's beautiful. But also, some of this dirt is like walking in sand. It is wild. Like, definitely getting a workout. Woo! I finished up packing out my site. I didn't record any of it, just kind of when did it. Uh, and then this is me just making sure the fire's totally out before I leave. It was a really great solo night away. It was just a few hours 
north of LA, so super easy drive for a one night camping excursion. There's no cell service whatsoever. Uh, when I drove out of the area, it took me about 45 minutes before I could get cell service again. Luckily, the directions were pretty simple and uh, a couple locals at a pistachio farm were very nice and helped me out and I even got a few pistachios. So yeah, sometimes it's just really great to get away. Thanks for watching.